Welcome back, friends, to TV5 News at 9. It's another edition of Ask the County. Joining us this morning is Saginaw County Treasurer Tim Novak. Thank you so much for being here. How are you? Doing great this morning. We're so glad you're here. A very important topic we're talking about. There's really been a lot of talk around school safety following the Oxford High School shooting. But today we're talking about knowing what to do if an armed intruder threatens a workplace, a business, or other public setting. So in the county, you have your own lockdown procedures. Tell us a little bit about what we need to know. Yeah, so we have a lockdown procedures and we have drills as well. So okay. similar to the schools and we've, you know, and, and even with the public in the building and we've let them participate. So it kind of the process goes, you know, some sort of announcement of a lockdown, either over a PA system or, or somebody yelling out loud. And then um, uh, find a place to move yourself and your clients away from doors and windows so that in a place where you're, you can't be seen maybe into a back office that can be locked down, and then you kind of lock and barricade an office door. Hmm. Um, silence your phones, yeah. and, then, and then from there kind of process, what would be an exit plan from here if we did have to exit? Um, but sometimes the best and most secure place is behind bricks and mortar yeah. or behind some sort of a wall where you can't be seen is kind of the key. Okay, those are great tips. Now, Tim, what's the difference between lockdown mode and then secure mode? So you'll hear the two different terms. So lockdown mode is kind of what I described here. So we're, we're, there's, an, there's a, a threat inside the building. So what would you do? So that's when you kind of lock down a secure mode. And a lot of schools will use this and businesses can as well. You know, business as usual, but can be conducted inside. Maybe there's an external threat in the neighborhood I've seen it for bank robberies and stuff. Schools will kind of go on lockdown. There's, yes. so there's a threat in the neighborhood. It's not imminent that internally, maybe use um, uh, all entrances and exits through the same door, um, monitor the hallways of your workplace or your business. Right. But, but inside rooms, you can lock the doors and conduct business as usual within the rooms. Tim, how should businesses really think about this and plan for these type of situations? So you really want to make sure, uh, put something in writing can be as simple as kind of a one page document with some bullet points, some places to go, what you would do. I think you should talk about the plan as well, kind of, you know, this is what we would do. You could practice if you want. Um, there's all kinds of cool little tools. Um, we lock all our doors at the courthouse with this kind of this night lock system. Mm. It slides onto a door and bolts into a plate in the floor. These were also used in the Oxford um, tragedy last week that saved lives. So county uses these in their doors as well. So you can come up with mechanisms to help lock doors. There's card systems, there's all kinds of different types of ways. Yes. But really plan ahead, talk about it, um, practice if you can, kind of go through what this worked, this wouldn't work. Um, and you know, be willing to kind of, you know, what's the best way to be safe right. and you know, be careful. And I love planning ahead and just talking about it. Make sure you know what to do. Anything else that we should think about just as residents or even businesses? No, just make sure that, um, you know, tailor to your business. Okay. You know, if you're, if you're one storefront, you know, maybe it's a little different. You just have to get back in the office. Um, customers are just as important to keep safe. You can kind of see outside if you can bring anybody in and away from, you know, from danger. Yeah. But just remember, plan ahead and um, always be on the safe side, I yeah. think is kind of the key here. And then, uh, and, and just hope that it never happens. You and know? you know, I also love just keeping your eyes and ears open, looking out for your neighbor, your business next door, and helping each other yeah, out. Yeah, if you can talk, you know, have you yes. seen somebody, an odd, per, you know, something odd that yes. happened? Have you heard something odd? You know, call your neighbors, um, call the business next door or, or whatever it may be just so that you communicate, even in the courthouse, we communicate to different departments. Yeah. Um, just, it, you know, asking those questions is, and, and find out it's not true is, is a lot of times better than, oh my gosh, I saw this and I didn't do anything. Yeah, plan ahead and be prepared if something does happen. Absolutely. Thank you so much Thank for these you. valuable tips. Appreciate it. If you have any questions that you would like to ask the county, just send them to WNEM at WNEM.com.